Hi, I'm Nick from GU Bot Dev. And I'm Mike. And we're here today to talk about our custom built, fully autonomous quadcopter that we plan on taking out to local high schools and teaching students how to build and how to fly. You want to show them what we got, Mike? Yeah, so um, here's our quad we designed. It's um, all 3D printed and uh, pretty low price. And our goal with this is to get students in the classroom building their own quadcopter for very inexpensive. And then at the end of the year, we're hoping to have a competition where the, all the schools who we've taught how to build this can come out and have a fully autonomous drone competition by the end of the year. All right, Mike, do you want to tell us a little bit more about this quad? Yeah, sure. Um, so this quad that we built is based around the Pixhawk uh, flight controller. Um, it incorporates some GPS, so it knows where it's going and allows for autonomous flight. Uh, we've got Mavlink telemetry, um, a buzzer so we can tell you know when things go wrong or so and so forth, um, FPV, and radio transmitter. Um, so it's it's pretty straightforward, simple quad. So how do we build it? And how are the high schools going to build their own? Uh, so we started out with 3D printing. Um, we designed these files in, um, in Fusion 360, a nice CAD software, um, printed them out on our 3D printer, and used some extruded aluminum and basically just, uh, just slapped it together in a few hours. Very cool. So it's easy to work on, easy to rebuild. Yeah, I've, I've probably crashed this thing uh, twice already and had to rebuild these the arms, but it took me less than an hour to do. It's very simple. Nice. So perfect for a high school setting. Exactly. So most of our quadcopters are controlled through a radio, like all of these racing quads that we have over here. Mm -hmm. But this quad's a little bit different. You want to tell me why it's different? Yeah. So um, our main two forms of communication here are the Mavlink telemetry, which links you to Mission Planner. Um, it's an open source software. And that gives you your uh, your telemetry data, such as speed, uh, position, heading, and all sorts of flight controls like that. Um, so that controls the autonomy of the vehicle and where it's going. Now we also have this, which receives our RC transmitter signal and controls the, the throttle, the roll pitch, and yaw of the vehicle. So we can fly this like a traditional quadcopter while still having that GPS control. Yeah, it allows for both autonomous flying and manual flying. Very cool. Now that we've learned a little bit more about this quad, let's go ahead and take it out to the field and get some flight footage from it. All right, let's uh, grab everything we need. Very cool. Send it out. Oh. Hey, now wait, what's the most important rule? Transmitter first. Transmitter first. Thank Safety. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head out. Cool. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> you are in acro and you're good to go. Good to go? All right, now that we've seen it fly, let's talk a little bit more about our goals for this whole project. Yeah, so our main goal with this project uh, is to head out to high schools and teach students how they can build their own and get into this hobby. And that's, we really wanna go in depth for all the aspects of this drone. So drone safety, how to fly safely around your area, how to do the build for this, so the CAD software involved in the design of the drone, uh, the electronics involved, you know, how to solder and how to assemble this whole thing, and then how to pilot too. Yeah, and we even hope to go into uh, some FAA safety rules so we can make sure everyone's got the proper regulations and everything needed to fly this. So if you might be interested in this competition, please see our contact information below and feel free to drop us a line. I think that does it for us today. So stay tuned for our future videos on this project and some of our other projects. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.